Friday campers. So, we got our field cultivated. Just up and ready to go, but I discovered when you disc stuff up, rocks come to the surface. And they were clinking and, and all kinds of stuff. So, I stopped by the case dealer and talked to my buddy Tommy. He said, yeah, you need a stone picker. We just happened to get a brand new one in. We'll let you use it if you test it out for us. Tell us how it works. We never used this kind before. I'm like, all right, I can do that. And he says, oh, by the way, did you know that since the old quarry was, that used to be old quarry, there's an old rock crusher still up there. It's at the far end. I'm like, okay, I was wondering what that piece of junk of metal was up there. So he's up there. You can't see him. He's just on the other side of the chicken barns. Getting it running. All right, I got this down. And I guess I just drive. Let's see the little army things. Well, look at that. My little monitor says I got stones in there. Uh oh. I'm too close to the fence. So I am supposed to run up and down this field a little bit while Tommy continues to work on the. rock crusher and I asked him okay so what do I need a rock crusher for crushes the rock okay yeah yeah he goes because yeah just a little bit of lighter water and you can make lime I'm like okay what do I do with lime you put it on your fields it helps the uh, I missed a little bit there I don't want to get too close to the fence Um, he said you put it on your fields and test your nutrients. There's the rock crusher. Tommy's standing on top of it. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, you can just kind of barely see him there. But anyway, uh, he said, yeah, you, you get a spreader, a fertilizer spreader, dry spreader, and uh, you spread the lime out. And what it will do is improve the pH of your soil. I was like, oh. He said, a lot of people just buy it, but you got a rock crusher. You might as well use it. It came with your place. Let's get it running. You crush this rock. And you can crush rock for other people if they bring it to you and charge them. And I'm like, oh, what a lovely idea. I would love to charge people money to use something. And he said, and, and, and I'm like, okay, and, and. He says, if you produce more lime than you use, you can sell it to the grain elevator who will buy it at a wholesale price which is still good for you because it's free and they will sell it at retail price and like oh what a one novel idea so so apparently there's a couple models. There's another model that's a little slower. It doesn't work as fast. And they got the deluxe model, I guess you'd call it. Because I'm hauling butt. I'm going 20 mile an hour. So, uh, yeah. So Tommy said, if this thing works as advertised, they will let me borrow it and I can use it to do other people's fields and charge them but they get 25% of whatever I charge for the use of the machine kind of like a rental and I'm like hmm 
75% of something is better than 0% of nothing. So I said, works for me. So, he said, hey, eventually if you get enough money, we'll sell it to you and we'll get another one. I'm like, alright, works for me. And he said, and the beauty of it is, we'll have to sell it to you used. Because it's been used. I'm like, alright, well I don't see how you guys make any money off of that. But he said, well, we make the money back, the difference in the rentals. I was like, oh, alright. So yeah, well, that's what we do with a lot of our tractors. We rent them out. And we can't sell them as new, even though they might only have 100 hours on them. But the money we made in the rentals makes up the difference between the new price and the sale and the used price. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not real good with math. So that's where we're at. So this is kind of cool. I'm farming rocks. Who knew? Right, I gotta make sure I don't hit the fence. This thing is pretty freaking wide. And then the other benefit they said of doing this after I disc is it breaks up the ground a little bit more for planting. So it has a dual benefit. Now I'm going to have to fertilize this field. So I will probably take my lime and lime it. And I'm going to have to fertilize it. Um, I can rent a sprayer from the case dealer. They said they would rent it to me for really cheap. Since I'm just getting started and all. Yep. Come on, did I hit the fence? There we go. So. Hit the fence again. Damn it. Took a inch post. I would have thought I would have pulled the post out of the ground, but apparently they're a lot tougher than they look. Definitely don't want to tear up their uh, rock picker. And I am back where I started. So, let's raise this bad boy up. Take her back. Yeah, it's going to be painful paying for this tractor. I mean, I owe 200000 on it. Financed it through case dealership. Better rates in the bank, so that was kind of cool. I can pay it off early without penalty, so that's good too. Alright, so he's waving me on to dump.
Oh cool, look at that. The little arms spread out and then the tips. And my little meter says it is empty. Noisy. Yeah, I didn't even realize this was out here. Uh, till one day when I walked down here and checked it out. I am going to sell my little disc since I got that other disc back. So, all right, let's start this bad boy up. Red Rollo track. Running. Alright. Pretty quiet. It's electric. Oh, there we go. Well, farmers, we will check back with you later if we pick some more rocks. Hey, campers. So, uh, Late afternoon, we finished up our field in a couple hours, but uh, as I was dumping in uh, my last load, I got two loads off my field. One of my neighbors came by and said, hey, what would you charge me to uh, pick two of my fields? I'd already talked to Tommy about this. And uh, so Tommy and I kind of came up with uh, 25 bucks an acre, which is, which is fair. So uh, did, uh, did that. And he had me do another field. He hadn't paid me so about 200 acres, so uh, he owed me five grand. He hadn't paid me yet, but I've been selling the stone. And when I finished him off, and his neighbor saw me doing his field, came and stopped me and said, "Hey, I got two fields. I'd love to have them. I just dissed them up." So uh, I am just dumping the last load from him. And we're getting uh, 13,395 a load from uh, from the uh, construction folks. Now they aren't making lime. What they're doing, they're crushing it up. Well, they're kind of making lime. They're making construction lime. It's the lime you put down on roads. Uh, before you pour concrete down, it helps dry the road out. It's a different type of lime field. They add some chemicals to it to help dry the ground out and harden it. So uh, I got ten grand coming from me. Both of them said they'd come by tonight and give me a check. So uh, guys, we are. I am. I, I am feeling more confident about my ability to survive here now that out of uh, money I made I owe the case dealer 25% so I'm gonna have to pay him that I'll have to figure out what that is and pay him 25% but uh, nah I mean uh, Apparently nobody's got a, a stone picker or they do but they got the little little bitty drag behind the tractor ones tow behinds and uh, They are not very efficient or fast So uh, I have a feeling that over the next couple of days since I, I got nothing else to do now that I've 
tilled and picked my one field. We, we won't plant for another month or two. Plant wheat. So uh, I got a feeling I'm going to be doing some stone picking. And since the stones are mine, I can do whatever I want. I can sell them or I can bring them over here to my uh, crusher and make lime with them. Oh, dip. So I, I, I did spend 18 grand. Um, so I don't have to mix the lime by hand. I spent 18 grand on a silo with a uh, big water tank and it does all the mixing for me so I don't have to do anything so yeah it's a pretty handy deal here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the trailer back down but I wanted to show you this so yeah I literally take my truck and I or I take the picker and I dump stone in there and then uh, when it fills up with lime I come dump it uh, in this thing and Turns into field lime. So, yeah. Well, uh, my chickens, we just uh, went through the chickens and got eggs. First round of eggs. So, uh, I'm going to load those up and take those to town. I'm just going to park this over here by the office. This is a pretty cool shop. Uh, got an office and everything. I don't know. Maybe I'll need an office someday. I don't know. But. Here's what it is. It's supposed to rain tonight. I'm going to park my truck in. garage when I get home so yeah we're gonna go gather our eggs up and we'll see what we get for eggs not sure what the egg market's like but Good thing these things are crated. That would have broke about half of them. Good thing they're in boxes. Alright, well, let's go to town. See what we can get for our eggs. They're open till 6, so. Got good time. And that is a very nicely tilled field. Very clean. Oh, farming. Farming. That's why you call it farming when people drive off the road. They were farming. They were looking at their farm ground. I've noticed a lot of farmers driving slow and not driving on the road, paying attention. So they call it farming. Yep, he's farming. See, so yeah, these guys were pretty nice. They were, they were like, yeah, bring us all the stone you got. We got contracts for road line. We need, we need, uh, we need limestone. More limestone we can 
yet. We don't have to quarry. I'm not sure where the quarry is. They got a quarry somewhere. All right, save game. Are you done? Yep. I had an opportunity to buy these two fields here to the left. But they just didn't seem big enough. And they were really close to the creek. Um, this guy over, talk to this guy over here about the land. Um, he said that the creek does flood once in a while. And this is all underwater over here. So I decided not to. And then I found the place where I'm at now. So it worked out. So yeah, so now we got to find, I'm not even sure where the damn place is at. Market's around here somewhere. up here by the fire station I don't think it is there's cut through these guys this place okay there is a little lady store There's a dairy. Where's this place at? Oh, I know where it's at. It's over by uh, the car dealership. That's right. I drove by it all the time. Shit. Drove by it damn near every day. Whoa, 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 whoa. turn. Construction company over here. Yeah, they're right there. cutting across the ball diamond parking lot oops uh, all right so just pull up front somebody will unload me back oh, look at that five thousand bucks right in my bank account There we 
go. Thank you for your business. That was nice. All right, well, I'm going to go by the case dealer and figure out what I owe him. Get him paid. Maybe talk to them about a drill. That one's a little small. Let's see, maybe they got something a little bigger. somebody doesn't look like Tommy's here today well cameras thanks for watching hit that like and subscribe we'll see you later well skippers been a week I got uh, a couple orders for uh, some stone picking to do today so I spent 45,000 on a new case uh, Concord SDX Cedar with a Concord 2400 uh, air cart. So I now have, God, I hate that. I'm about to fill that in. I now have. I'm just going to park it here for now because we'll need it here shortly. But we'll go look at this thing here in a second. Let me back this up and hook it up. So, yeah, my buddies at the case dealer, they uh, hooked me up with some people who were looking to get some stones. But Hey, this is a pretty decent, uh, I'm liking this thing because, uh, damn it, it's a uh, pretty good size in the air cart, so I got a little auger, I just backed the truck up to there, it dumps in right in there, I wanted to put a green, uh, Green hatch on my oh, I already got one. Eh, thought I was gonna have to put one on here. Eh, didn't even realize to have one on here. That's a plus. That is a bonus. A bonus. Alright, well I'm gonna drive out to this farm. It's way up on straight ahead of me down the road, a couple miles. He's got three fields he wants done, so that's going to be it's like 200, it's almost 300 acres, so that's going to be cool. I need to get some lubricating grease. Yep, we got to get that. I'll just drive a tractor over there. Uh, grease up. I think I left it in here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, well, we're going to grease up. We got some greasing to do. And I'm going to go uh, pick stones. So, uh, campers, until next time, hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you later.